Hi, my name's John Arnold, and I want to show you a brand new product from MacFun Software called Intensify. This is literally brand new. It's being launched today, and I've had the, uh, the privilege of working with it for a week or two now. And I've got to tell you, I am really loving this. I really, really think this is going to be something that I use regularly from now on. So let me show you a little bit about what Intensify can do. Now, if you have uh, thinking about the name, the clue is there. Uh, what Intensify does is it takes the detail and the color and the structure of your photograph and it boosts those things to really make your photograph sing. It really makes them pop on the screen. So uh, let's take a quick look at this photograph. This is one I took in the south of France and we can see right away that it's got lots and lots of interesting detail to it. It's got all this wonderful peeling paint. It's got all this dirt on the, uh, on the stonework here and I'm going to want to really bring that out and this is a job that Intensify is going to do a brilliant Brilliant, brilliant piece of workout. So let's go back to uh, fitting that in. You can see we've got buttons at the top of the interface here for going to 100% or zooming in or fitting the view back to uh, whatever screen size we're working at. And uh, let's just click through a few of the presets here on the right hand side. So um, let's start with architectural details. It's just because it's the first one. And we can see right away that this is looking more detailed. If I press the eyeball button, you can see how the image changes. Now, if you want to work through your presets, a great way to do it is to use this side-by-side -side view here. This lets you see the before and after, and we can see our original image on the left-hand side and our uh, intensified image on the right-hand side. And if I click through some of these, look at what balanced tones does. It really boosts the detail and gives us loads and loads of extra color, and uh, it's, it's really making the image sing. Let's try dark details. This is a great one. I found this one works really well if you're working on night scenes. Uh, let's boost, skim down a little to black and white, because we've got a whole section of black and white presets here. And uh, this particular preset is my absolute favorite on the black and whites. I I've yet to come across an image that didn't look great as a dramatic two black and white image. Um, so it really is boosting detail and a lot of contrast, which works really well for black and white images. Uh, let's carry on down. We've got artistic here. Now, this is, this is a great one. It's a little bit dark for, for this particular image, but let me just go out of the side-by-side -side view and let's go to 100% and see what the artistic preset is doing to all of that detail. So we can see all the dirt on the wall there and all the structure and all that detail in that sandstony sort of uh, brickwork. And look what it's doing to this paintwork down here, this paintwork, all this peeling paintwork. We're not just seeing the peeling, we're also seeing the the texture on the top of the paintwork. We're really bringing out loads and loads of interest in this image. It does a fantastic job and all of this is tunable using the adjustment sliders that I'm going to show you in another video. And better still, so I'm going to stick on this video just to working with presets, but these presets are not uh, one click and you're done type presets. These can be used as building blocks. You can add these presets to each other in order to, to really put together the image that you've got in mind. So let's jump to my probably my favorite preset in the whole in the whole program. It's called Seattle. And you can see it's keeping that lovely detail, but it's also got a lot of light in it. And I, you know, this is a daylight shot. I really want to make it have all that sort of daylight brightness about it. I want it to look like it was on a on a bright breezy day. Um, so that that's a pretty good start but it's way too strong. So let's jump in and drag the opacity down. Now you can see here at the top there's a thing that says layer zero. That's because Seattle, um, sorry that's because Intensify has got um, a layer system built in. And what we've essentially done is on layer zero, we have set our Seattle preset and we can drag the opacity of that down. And as, you, as I drag it down and up, you can see the effect changing on the image. So I drag that down, it's no, no effect at all. And I can bring it up to, let's say about 50% for this particular preset. Now that's looking great. That's about the right amount of detail, I think. It's added a little contrast. Of course it has because we're boosting the, boosting the detail. That's all good too. Let's make another layer now because I want more color. Now I happen to know that down here, one of my favorites, again, you see we've got little stars next to some of these presets here. That's because you can mark the presets that you like best as favorites just by mousing over them and clicking the little plus button. So if I wanted an even balance, preset. I can 
click the plus, click the star, and that makes it into one of my favourites. Now, I don't want even balance. I want boost colours, because look what that's done to the image. That's really made that, that colour pop now. The yellow on the brickwork is coming out great. Again, though, probably a little bit too strong. So let's go back to the, the layers section at the top, and we can drag our colour boost down a shade just to try and balance it now with... And I'm going to just drag my Seattle layer down a little as well. So down to maybe 40%, something like that. Um, just to keep the detail in there and then balance that with the extra colour that we're getting from our boost colours layer. Now there's one more thing on this image. I really think this just needs a little bit of a vignette just to sort of bring your eye back into the middle. Um, so I'm going to add a final layer and uh, I'm going to use the adjustment section that I'm only going to cover very lightly in this video but we'll get into more in the next video. So I'm going to click adjust on the right hand side here and you can see we've got all the sliders for all the things that those presets have been controlling. We've also got a histogram at the top here which is extremely useful for figuring out uh, where your values are, where your brightness values are in your image. Um, that's going to be something that you refer back to once you're getting the hang of how um, of how Intensify works on your images. But let's just scroll down to the bottom of this pile and we've got a vignette section here and we can just drag the amount of the vignette down. That's looking pretty good already. I'm going to do what I normally do with these things. I'm going to deliberately make it too strong and then I'm going to get the size about right. I'm going to feather it about right you can see how I'm changing the feathering on that on that vignette and then I'm going to drag the amount back up to somewhere where I think it looks about reasonable so that's approximately what I had in mind we've now got our three layers our first layer is our Seattle detail layer our second layer is our color boosting layer and our third layer is our vignette layer so I'm going to say that's that's exactly where I wanted that image to be we've done that almost exclusively using presets we haven't had to dig into all these sliders here we can do and I will do in the next video. There is loads more that Intensify can do to your images. We're going to get into how some of these sliders work, and I'm also going to show you another excellent, exciting feature from the layer stuff, which is layer masks. That's coming in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.